welcome, welcome everyone to the world of dark and light. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Having a pretty darn good one myself. So, oh, well, so, get back on her. <laughs> Wrong button, yeah, for the win. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so I finally, finally leveled up my writing. Yes, right? Yes, no. Yeah, okay, yeah, I finally leveled up my writing so that we can make a griffin saddle. But to make a griffin saddle, as you see, it takes 10 chaos orbs or something like that. And to make chaos orbs, you have to level up your, uh, through, what does it say? Thom, thom, I don't have no idea how you say that. I'm not even going to try. And to do that, you have to level up this, and then eventually at rank 6, you can make chaos essence. Chaos essence is light stone, dark stone, and magical essence, which is expensive. But... I need dark stone, I need light stone, so I can make a saddle for my griffin. So we are going to collect some quick dark stone right here. And then uh, we're going to fly over to the other best location I know for um, the dark stone. And then we will go pick up some light stone. And uh, we'll probably do this in a couple trips because I want to get as much as possible. Eat that one. Let's go eat that one. You know what? Let's just kill that. Alright, come get me. Come on, coward. You coward. You should be ashamed of yourself. Just chained. Just chained. Alright, anyways. And this is one of the best quick spots to grab some quick dark stone up real fast. So I was like, well, let's fly down the road coat and we'll get some here. Will he not land there? No, he will not land there. I was hoping he'd land closer to the hook because I don't want to leave him far away. <laughs> anyway, okay. Getting some. And, uh, I don't know if we went over where to pick up, um, a switch. There we go. Lightstone yet, but it's super common. Like, it is not hard to find at all. Did none of my darkstone respawn? Oh, oh, crap. <laughs> There's a wraith up inside there, y'all. <laughs> ah! Oh, run, run, run. Good lord, run. I thought. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Anything I need? No, of course not. Y'all never have nothing anymore. Used to be able to get all kinds of really nice loot off these guys. Now they drop just absolute junk. Wow, I wasn't expecting there to be baddies up in here, y'all. Like, every time I've ever come up in here, there's not been no baddies, but there's also been dark stone. I ain't seen any dark stone. Like, at all. What? There should be a whole bunch of dark stones right there. Well, we might have to go somewhere else if there's not enough for the top step. Nope. Oh, well, I guess we go somewhere else for Darkstone. That is really weird. I think there might be a single player spawn, resource spawn. Because I am playing offline, which I am, I'm, I won't play online until it uh, is a little bit more stable and there's a lot less of the things like the vendors resetting, apparently, and stuff like that for online play. But, uh,. So I played local for right now, just for those who were not aware why why I was. Uh, but in single player, there used on Ark there was a bug that caused resources to not spawn. What are you? Hello, dude. Like, what are you? Who are you? Are you? You need some help? You are a citizen, level fifty six. Well, if you have fun with your rabbit. That's a little weird. Little weird. Dude standing on a cliff with a bunny rabbit. Okay. But anyway, as I was saying. <laughs> Anyways. There is a bug. An arc. That causes single player resources. To uh, not respawn properly. And uh, the only way to fix it is to turn resource. Uh, radius or whatever it is all the way down also y'all you can know, see my rainbow bridge I built we got some Mario Kart up in here so much nicer having that there but anyways <laughs> uh, what it is is the resources don't respawn and you have to turn it all the way down to get them to respawn and I wonder if that's an issue that's in this as well because 
I've noticed though the trees around my base have been respawning, which they should respawn. Okay, I know I'm right now. So we're just gonna fly over here to the swampy area and pick up some dark stone real quick, quick. And we just got to find it. It is this way. We're going to lag for a moment as we fly into the area. All the trees load in. It should be right over here, if I recall correctly. Yes, right here we go. And there's all kinds of sections we're going to fly up above. Oh gosh, the lag. We'll stop this. Well, I waited for a moment, but apparently the frames aren't going to come back, so here we go. Let's get down here. I was going to fly up above, but uh, we'll just go ahead and drop in and see if we can get the area to load in and everything works better. But up inside here, did that just land in a tree? <laughs> oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Vibrant landing skills on point. Anyway, up in here, I seen some bunches of dark stone the other day, and I did not collect it, which I believe this is what this is right here. Go on, you can land. Completely safe as far as I can tell down in here. Ain't nothing around. Alright, there we go. And I'm going to mine up as much of this as I can. And then uh, I'm going to take it back to base. And then we're going to go and... Uh, oh, I'm getting dark element too. And we're going to go pick up lightstone, which I believe is the closest lightstone to the human castle. So, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to finish this up and we'll be back in just a minute. And we're back, y'all. Yeah. Alright, so I dropped off my, uh, dark stone. Now we're gonna go collect up some light stone real quick. And, uh, there might be somewhere that's nearby than where I'm going, but I don't think so. Alright, we gotta get ourselves placed here. Okay. There's the human castle. There's the watch, or the transport tower for the transport dragon, whatever it is. Now we're just gonna fly literally right over across these mountains. Which, these mountains are a great place to get mithril. But uh, we're just going to go right over here, and there's this really cool area. And I don't think there's a closer. There may be a spot where we can get a little bit. But I don't think it's a very rich deposit. It may be like one or two, but over here is a nice rich place where we can get all kinds. And it's also really cool. Oh, loading the area in. Oh, the good old trains. Weird how they come in just sometimes. They just Fun. But right here where the big pointy rocks are at, y'all. I don't know if we've actually been over here or not. I can't remember. But this is really awesome. Like, I don't even know. It's the only one I've seen that looks like this. So it's really cool. But uh, there's tons and tons of light stone here. And plus you might come across some fire elementals ever so often. Which is interesting. They'll be down inside here. But as you can see, there's light crystal everywhere. So we're going to nice get a nice heavy spot let's see i don't want to fly through that because i don't know if it does anything let's go over this time usually i should I, I shop on the other side but let's come over here let's see what's different on this side you know and uh we'll mine up a whole bunch of this junk as much as we can carry and i mean i don't know what these do like i said i don't know if you fly into it we've seen them a couple times and uh they are a complete mystery to me other than the fact they look really cool but uh they are fantastic resources for this. Plus, I have a feeling that there is a light seed. Well, I know there's a light seed that I have not found. And I believe what I'm going to end up getting it from is harvesting stuff like these plants. But I don't know how you go about it. Again, I picked up a dark seed that I never could figure out how I got. Like, I had no clue how I picked it up. It was just in my inventory. And uh, I kind of wondered if this. I didn't think that did anything. But I believe this is where it came from, was right here. Because I had been to this area earlier in the day. And, uh, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I really don't. Anyways, let's see. Uh, I'm going to collect up as much of this as I can carry. Get rid of all this extra junk that I don't need. Well, I need, but I just can't carry. And, uh, we'll be back once I get a good load up and I'm back at base, y'all. And we're back. All right. So I want to try something else. 
try something else out while we're doing this y'all and I went ahead and crafted them up and uh, in your inventory you can craft these things called the rune of gravity one and two and I just cast up nine of the rune of the rune ones or gravity ones which cost 10 pelt uh, 5 copper and 15 shards and I figured you know we'll give us a try it's something I've looked at a couple times but I ain't used it so I figured we'd give it a go and see what it does and I know it's supposed to make it so I can carry a lot more but uh I just haven't used it because you know I'm just I'm used to making the trips you know what I mean and uh I thought you know what we'll see what we can do how much does it actually increase my weight by does it work something to check out real quick so I can already carry 320 pounds so I'm gonna say this didn't work very well <laughs> that does do what I think it does right let's see a magical rune imbued with the element of earth cast this to improve your weight can I cast it more than once because I'd really love to carry all this at one time I can nearly carry all of it at one time anyway like uh, okay, let's see. Does that, will that do it? Okay, so we can now move, but we are super slow. All right. Hmm. So I don't know if this really helps a lot. Like, I was kind of wondering if it did or not because I already carry a lot of weight. So I don't know. I just don't feel like it's actually increasing that much weight. It's weird. But I figured we'd give it a try because I hadn't used one. So you know, I mean, that's just the way it is. You gotta try things out. You know, experiment, have fun. Explore, find new great things that make life easier. And have fun while doing it. Oh, 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 oh. And yay, we're already done. Okay, okay, okay. Finally, 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 finally. Oh, and before we continue, I killed a dark earth or fire animal, something big red dude with spinning hands. Really crazy. And check it out. I got a legendary wyvern saddle. A. So, toolbars. Do, do, a common iron tip spear which was pretty awesome and there was what else did I get this one there was something else hmm. maybe that was it I don't know I feel like there was something else I'm forgetting but I don't think so hmm. yeah I think that was it but anyways anyway anyways, anyways let's put our saddle on our wyvern that's all I was just waiting out until we could do it together because, I mean, 25 to 77 is a huge upgrade. You are pimping hard now, dude. All right. Now we need to crest our chaos essence. Finally, finally, finally. Why am I so heavy? Let's get rid of this saddle. Because we're filling up these storage boxes quick. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still heavy because I got copper on me. Ah, that's what's going on. No, it is this one. Yes. Haha. -ha. So good. Okay. Okay, finally. We are ready for this. I've been trying to make this stuff for absolutely ever ago. Chaos. What is it under? Right there it is. Alright, so it takes 25 light stone, 25 dark stone, and 10 magical essence, which I, it's what I, how I leveled up my, whatever this stuff right here is called. Humitar, thermatry, thom, thomu, thomatry. I have, I honestly have no idea, y'all. Like, words are hard. <laughs> But I casted up a whole bunch of this stuff. Like, we made a bunch. Oh, I still got water bottles, huh? Let's, let's, let's fix that. We don't want those. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes. Okay, right, there it is. I can make 11 of them. Are you freaking serious? All right, I want y'all to look at this. I've got 1,047 light stone, 1,076 dark stone, and 122 magical essence. Now, are you all ready for this? Okay. So that means I can cast, t make 12 of those. The Griffin Saddle alone, uh, let's see, reigns. The Griffin Saddle, Kobe, Mastodon, uh, where's the Griffin? There it is, right there. Takes 10 Chaos Essence. So that's, oh my goodness gracious, like, that is ridiculous like that <sighs> wow that is just that's so expensive you know like i am just dumbfounded right now because i need tons of these things like a lot of the stuff requires these things that's stupid like, that's just stupid let me look at the stuff that unlocks as we go i mean <sighs> wow i'll be able to make this too let's make that they want to play with that awesome all right so we'll take those 
stupid expensive. Good lordy. <laughs> All right, saddle. <laughs> what do I need to make it? Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. It's so expensive. The farming. This game is 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 take your life away, and and do nothing but farm resources nonstop forever, and ever and ever. Why is it so fun? Uh, okay, there it is. I can crack one. That's good. That's all I need. One. I doubt I'll ever tame another griffin unless I get silly lucky and find a 120 somewhere. Did I not pick that other thing up? I did not. Let's pick that up real quick. Okay, I told her. Duh. Okay. Bam. I'm pretty excited to play with that, actually. That's. This craft. This craft. Oh, we go, we go, we go, we go. Woohoo! Are y'all ready for this? You already we've been building up riding this freaking graphic riding this freaking griffin forever. Here we go. And we're airborne. Oh, you're so freaking slow. Oh well, that's a little bit better. What do we got going on here? What is this like you stink or something? You got heat like stink lines coming off of you? Dude, did you need a bath? That's pretty funky. Alright, you got any levels? Uh, you got a few levels. Well, let's see how much damage he does. Okay, let's test him out. Let's see. Um, do 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 do. do. Some games with dirt out on me. We're not gonna find nothing to attack. Aha! Big target. Can you attack on the ground? Let's find out. Yes, you can. You do 79 points of damage. All right, let's let's pump that one attack. Uh, one attack. And you do like 80, yeah. So that's normal. It goes up one point. I don't really like that. It's so stupid, y'all. Like, it seems like nothing levels up your stuff. Anyways. A wrong button. Let's get this guy some level. Let's see, like, what does he got going on? Let's see. We can carry 638 pounds with him. That is just absolutely abysmal. Does he need stamina? How does he fly? Let's see. Stamina doesn't appear to be going down very much as we fly. How about if I attack? So just a little bit. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to the wrong menu. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Let's help this here, guys. Let's attack. Let's do just a bunch of attack. And of course, we're going to do weight because I mean, the only other thing we need to focus down here is freaking stamina and maybe focus. And I don't think you can even phone focus. So that's kind of a useless stat. But uh, it's kind of weird. Like it seems like every animal I get basically all I'm going to be doing is pumping. Uh the um, weight on them. Like, it's all it seems like they all do. Boy, we are just awesome. We already killed us a griffin, you know? Or, I mean, a, a reef, wraith. Wow, I really cannot words today. Oh. Well, eh. You know, I, I kind of like my weapon better, but I, this, this is probably going to be our new mount. Just for the fact that, I mean, he's bigger. He does a little bit more damage. Yeah, I'll give him that. And I'm pretty sure he can carry heavier things, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I really like the wyvern. I, I'm impressed with the wyvern. He turns well. He does well. Do we have any other attacks on the ground? So no right click. No controls. Uh, other controls. Other alts. No. Okay. Let's see. Do we have anything here? Oh. Whoa. Okay. So control. Left control is a swipe attack. So, what is that? How much damage does that do? That's kind of awkward to hit. Let's find something to smack. Okay, bunny rabbits. Come to me, bunny rabbit. Oh, we hit the hit them. So that does 122, but it's really hard to aim, apparently. Yeah, that's a bit hard to aim because it's jut forward. All right, well, there we go. We finally got the gripping, y'all. Like, finally. Now, the other thing I want to try out... The, that we can make it is this right here. I have been dying to try this. All right, so y'all ready for this? Like, let's straight give it our Jedi mind powers on. Oh yeah. What? Can I not use it very often? No, it is very timed out. Does it show anything timed out here? No. Apparently, I can't use it again. Is it a one use shot? Are you serious? Really? So it breaks one time. 
that doesn't seem that is so not worth it even though that was cool as could be like unless i am missing something on getting chaos essence that is not worth it at all like what <laughs> that was so bad just one use hmm don't like that at all bam like that though all right well hmm you know i really i like the griffin but that's kind of anticlimactic like oh boy is i mean he's nice i mean hmm took so much to make a griffin saddle i was expecting a little bit more you know like we're... but we can now attain a um lava tiger a bahoot and uh we're moving on toward the dragons which i don't even know how the world we're gonna do that but the one i really want is the uh nidhog and that is that's what we're building for that is the big team that's what we're, we're aiming for we're still what let's see knowledge writing this next one dragon nidhog and the frost dragon which i ain't seen a frost dragon y'all like what where do you find frost dragons i've been all over the ice like where are those bad boys at but I don't know. I'm a little disappointed with the Griffin. The telekinesis, man, that's a great big disappointment. And and as much as it costs to make this stuff, like I think that's the biggest thing hurting the game right now is some of the resources are just it, it costs so much to make them. I mean, I granted you you collect all the base stuff all the time, but at the same time, I mean, it, it took me hours. To farm up enough essence and then to make water bottles and then to make the the or the farm up shards and then make the essence with the water bottle and then to farm up the stone and then the two different stones and then to make the essence itself to make a single saddle for a griffin like that's that's crazy and all of the advanced spells all of them from what i'm aware of require it to like i mean look these that's 20 that's a, that's 10 that's 20 and then i mean like if you come over here like the spells and stuff let's see no i've already unlocked all that we can't we don't love them like okay this that takes three and i mean let's see lack of throw no we don't want that. Uh, okay look that doesn't take any that's good but uh i mean that's just that seems really super expensive. I don't know. That seems a little out of whack, y'all. I don't know if I approve of that. But hmm. anyways, we got our Griffin. That's what we wanted to do. Like, we wanted to get this bad boy in the air. Because I mean, while the Wyvern is awesome, I mean, this dude is. I don't know. I'm gonna have a hard choice. Like, I don't quite care for this guy's face. He's kind of like, Brr, I am very pointy. Brr. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. And I do want to, uh, some, let's talk plans in the future. I want to move, but at the same time, I have discovered that in a few more levels, I will start being able to build manor stuff. And if you've never looked, if you come over here, you got human manor, elven manor, dwarven manor. And I've already unlocked the manor framework. And I'm already starting to make, you know, get up and dip. But human manor will unlock at level 60. And while this stuff is super duper expensive, I really would love to build a, you know, like a, a castle or whatever the heck this is, a manor. So I don't know, I'm kind of holding off on building, I don't know, we may build us something small just to kind of move on. And what I wanted to do is build down there or go build over there where it lags real bad. But I definitely need to do something, I need somewhere to put my animals. And I, I really need to expand this building, like I underestimated the size requirements I was going to need, it was I, it was just poorly planned. I want to change it. And eventually I'd like to work in the dino doors, which, oh my goodness, you all. Like, I will be unlocking the dino doors soon. And I want you all to look at this insanity. Look how much it costs to make. All right, hold on. Yeah, right here. Was this a stone? Did they change it? This does not seem like it was yesterday. This has been changed because this was much higher. Like, that's not as bad. Like... I looked at this the other day and I could have sworn it was like thousands of wood or it was stone one of them was like thousands of it and I was like oh my goodness like 
to make one. So they may have, they may have changed this because that does not seem nearly as high as it used to be. That's still a lot, but that's a lot more manageable than what I saw. Okay, yeah, that's not that's still expensive, but that's a lot more manageable than what I remember seeing the other day. So I don't know. Hmm, maybe they changed that, but still, I want to build up something. And I'm either going to build right here. I'm thinking I'm going to build a barn to put my animals in. And I think we're going to expand this, and I I hate to say it, I may tear everything down and just basically put everything in storage boxes and start completely from scratch. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I, I want to change some things. I'm not happy with my base build. I think it looks cool because it kind of looks like an actual house, but no, we need to. Now that we've unlocked all of the stuff to build with for the most part, I think it's time to... The, the build something new so we may get into that in the next episode or two i'm already collecting resources but uh yeah so i mean kind of wanted to talk to y'all about that because that is the plans in the works and y'all know me I, I can put off building it happens but i really want to do something i just like i said this game is farm 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 and i won't lie i'm very tempted to turn up my farming rates even though i try to keep it as low so that it's a little bit more representative of what you'd play on official if you play official but uh I'm spending hours, you all. Like, well, you all seen. I spent a couple hours farming up the, the magical shards and stuff beforehand. Just to, let me off. Wow, really? Am I like, is this in my new home? Wow, dude. Jeez. You were very bug-eyed. You do not look like there's much intelligence in that head. You're like, durr, I see you. Durr. <laughs> But uh, I do hate... We're going to wrap it up there, y'all. <laughs> it's a bit of a random episode, but we finally got our Griffin saddle. And we went over what it takes just to show, you know, that even with the rates turned up a little bit, like, it is a little bit crazy farming in this game. Like, it's a little crazy. But uh, if you enjoyed this episode, smack that thumbs up button. I appreciate it if you do one way or the other. Thank you for coming along and hanging out. Uh, you're all the reason why I do this, y'all, for real. Uh... Comment below, let me know if you got any questions, suggestions, or tips, or anything you want to see, if you just want to say hi. Share this if you would, so others can find it easier, it helps them out, helps them out, and it's an amazing thing to do. Subscribe if you haven't already, and remember you all, stay safe, have fun, and game on.